Yo, this is D. And this is Mo. And we're Pigweed. And you are listening to The Loud, the loud Spot. Morning. The Loud Spot podcast uses adult humor and adult language in its broadcast. It may be unsuitable for younger audiences. Viewer discretion is advised. Also, we are idiots. Please don't take anything. We say offensive or the heart. Don is officially back. Did that thing end early? Did that intro song end early? It looked like it did. Yeah, that's because you altered it, remember? Uh, I got it. Okay, I, I'll alter it again. I just realized that. It's been altered for a little bit now. Okay, Don is back with us on the show. Yeah, do we have a round of applause button? No. <laughs> we, we did. Uh, you have one in your, your, your nice nifty thing that I bought you that you don't you ever use anymore. So. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's right. <laughs> I was about to say, I could just ring the right answer bell and, you know. Yep. There you go. That's a little, make believe that's a round of applause. I guess I could have inserted one in. Oh, well, I'm not going to. You know what? We could, we could pull that. Don't, aren't we still play, paying for that epidemic sound? Yeah. Or do you, yes. You know what? I will I will try t- this weekend to pull some some claps, some yay, some uh, and then wah, wah, wah. So. I thought we had the wah, wah, wahs too. You do. No, you had the wah, wah, wah on your uh, – I forget what it was called, the Roadcaster Pro. That's you right. have that on there. You have that, and um, you have a micro penis. That's that's micro penis is your favorite micro one. penis. All right, hey. guys, let's let's talk about our sponsor. You can go to w.gg for your either hydration drinks, which I like, or you can get their jitterless energy blend. Go to w.gg. Use promo code the loud spot, all one word. For 10% off your order. It's really good. You guys will like it. I do enjoy it. So try it. Okay. We got a great show tonight. We're going to kick this off. Oh, yeah. I want to mention it's the beginning of the month. Don is back. We are bringing back Stump Sebastian <laughs> on this episode. Yeah. Oh, it was some... yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> or in our ghetto ass. Uh... That's it. That's all we got. That was low, wasn't it? What? <laughs> there. there we go. All right. Yeah. Yeah. That, well, it was low. I don't know why it was so low. I think it's because I was talking, but I don't know. No, I heard it. Yeah. I heard it fine. I okay. heard it. I heard the ding. I heard the ding. Okay. We're going to kick this off with news regarding the funeral portrait. Now, their singer, Lee Jennings, has been on this episode or yeah. on, on this podcast before. Great band. Their new song, I think we played it last week. Yeah. Um, uh, a couple super- weeks ago couple weeks ago couple weeks ago and then yeah. i was going through different news articles and i was like oh shit he's going on tour with marilyn manson right i'm thinking that's awesome he's going on tour marilyn manson's going back on tour and they are getting backlash for touring with marilyn manson mm-hmm. and, and i and i get it but i'm happy for them look their bass player went on x which is formerly known as twitter and i hate that name x it's such a stupid name is who, it? Owns, who owns it now? Elon. Elon Musk. He's That's calling right. it Musky. No, he's... <laughs> it's just as bad. I don't call it Musky. It's just weird to say on X. I, I'm used to still saying Twitter. Anyways, the post has since uh, on Twitter been deleted. So, of course, fans screenshot these things. So once you post something on social media and you have some sort of following... People are going to screenshot it for whatever the reason is. Once you delete it, it goes out there. Yep. I think famous for doing that, I think, was Roseanne Barr when she went on that rampage one time. Right. I don't, did she go on a rampage or was she called out it, for it and then she was? It? I think she deleted it and then, but then they someone screenshotted it and it was uh, something very political about a political candidate. And she used the term, uh, I, I think. Um, I think it was like apes or monkeys or, you know, a bunch of something like that. And it just went and, and don't don't quote me on that, guys. If I said it wrong or something like that, don't quote me on it. But it was something along those effects. And she deleted it not long after she posted it because she says that she was on hyped up on fucking like, you know, sleeping pills or some yeah. shit bullshit like that. Then the normalized. 
that Ambien can make some people do some fucked off shit. I'm I sorry. Think it might I, know. Be Ambien. I know. Do you remember that time, Don, that on Snapchat when you posted your penis on there? And oh, it was yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah I I'm telling An you. Ambien night just got away from me. I'm telling you, it just yep. was one of those things. So I, I, I don't know if it was, if, if it was a true thing or if it wasn't a true thing, because I'm not going to say that it wasn't. But come on, it, it, to me, if you post it, like when Sebastian posts some things, I know how much he's had to drink. <laughs> Everybody <where> he, <laughs> knows that. Yeah, where he's at, what he's doing. I know he, he posted it. Exactly. If it's four o'clock in the morning, it is a party night. Jason's over. Someone's over at the house. Feed him oh, alcohol. I'm sometimes over here hanging. Out. <laughs> I haven't been over there in months. <laughs> I'm not I, taking the blame. You, and you know what? You know what? Before now, I want to talk about this for a second. I have been on this really good health kick, and I've been drinking beet juice and making tons of healthy dinners and eating good, eating clean. I have been. What are you shaking your head no for? I'm shaking beet my juice head. Is good Be for you. It's because it sounds like you want. Why don't you just say CrossFit? Just say CrossFit and get it over with. I'm not CrossFit. doing CrossFit. I'm CrossFit. Running. That's what I'm saying. You're going to do this for another maybe couple of weeks and then you're going to quit. And like the rest of us, at least Don and I, we don't even tempt this stuff because we know we have a life and we want, we don't care about being healthy. I don't know. I lost nine pounds. Thick and proud. <laughs> I, yeah. I've lost nine pounds in two weeks eating, eating, eating clean and, and running every it's, day. Yes, I have. It's yeah, not, but you didn't have to lose weight though. Okay. You ain't thick like my ass is. So right. you. You eating but Don, healthy and all that stuff isn't because you want to lose weight. It's because no, no, it's, it's because not. You were looking like shit. Yeah, See, I don't want to lose weight. I know Don called. No, hold on. Don called me. She goes, <laughs> "You look like shit." So I was like, I looked in the mirror. I was like, I think I look good. And then I look at the pictures. I'm like, I do kind of look like shit. <laughs> I was like, what? Well, what? because I was, at the so end, I wanted of a healthier lifestyle because I don't want to, you know, dude. I got so many people dying like from heart attacks and shit. And I'm not, you know, I party and stuff. So. I drink, I drink a lot. I stay up late. I don't get a lot of sleep. So I, my blood pressure is always high. So I'm thinking I got to be better. So Don called me out. That inspired me okay. to Well, be I'm going to call you out on person. something. I'm going to call you out on something. You can exercise all you want to, but shitty attitudes are shitty attitudes. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I got a good, I, I've been waking up in a great mood. I don't yell at Sam so much anymore. No, eh, you're right. It's, it's not See? too bad. It, I usually get midday yells at like today was one of those. Hey, you didn't change the time in the calendar. And I was like, dude, yeah, well, the I didn't world's... yell at you. I was double so checking. How are you getting special treatment? But yet I meet him one time for lunch and I don't get special treatment. I get yelled well, at. We've been taking. We've been taking it easy on you. We've been taking it easy on you. Well, That's why. Yeah, he didn't. He was face well, to face with me. No, I ain't seen him no. in a month. I know. He he hates everyone equally, though. Uh -huh. I, yeah. I still bought lunch and gave you a hug. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's go back to okay, funeral okay, for okay. a portrait. Real quick, guys. So, yes, the bass player posted something and basically says, Hey guys, you know, we play 200 cap rooms. All right. I, 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 got, I got the quote. I got the quote. Okay. Right fine. Here. Okay. Right. Here's what was posted. We're going to, there's two parts to it. The first part yeah. is I'm sorry. My band that has consistently played 200 cap venues for seven years. Plus has a chance to open shows in front of thousands of people and people want to be upset by it. So all right. I, so I, let, let, let's ahead. give this a, let's give a little insight. The backlash is from their fan base, the fan base that calls themselves Funeral for a Portrait fan base, okay? So it's not just necessarily random people out there from maybe Marilyn Manson camp or anything like that. It's their own fan base that actually listens to their music and digests their, their content. Okay, but are people jumping on the bandwagon without even being a fan of the funeral, funeral portrait, seeing these people commenting, and probably. then wanting to jump in on it, not even knowing any fucking songs that they play? Yeah, probably. Don, Don, we've seen this before. How many times on every band, people will jump on, on that thread and just bash that band without even listening or digesting mm -hmm. that band or understanding? So on this situation... I think it's one of those things where I like what he's saying. He's saying, hey, listen, guys, we we and they have been they they've been grinding the hundred to 200 cap rooms for seven plus years. They haven't really jumped out there as a national headlining act. They're 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 a supporting act by best. They're great people. OK, so they're, I'm not they're, bad. They're, they're a good band on top of that. Yeah. Their music sounds really good. But 
they get an they actually get some and then because people don't like Marilyn Manson and, Mar- and the recent events of Marilyn Manson sexual charges essay yep. charges I should say um that that has been settled out of they've all been settled either settled out of court and I think some are still going through court or through litigation itself they're automatically getting bashed due to the fact is from their own fans and maybe potentially people that don't listen to them. I, w- I want to say this is from their fans. That's the reason why the bass player made the post. Right. And then, and I'm, I'm, I'm but he, okay. I don't know why he even deleted. I get why he deleted. I'm sure someone probably said, dude, delete that. But yeah. he can, he continues on the post. Management management said that. <laughs> the yeah, I'm sure. he, yep. he continues on the post. If you truly know the people we are and you know, the grind we've been on, you wouldn't be mad. Uh, if what you are doing isn't, a, if what we are doing isn't affecting your life personally, then why get mad about it? You weren't a fan before and that's fine. No one is forcing anyone to go to these shows. Look, here's the deal. You're going to play with Marilyn Manson. They're doing, they're not doing it. They're, of course they're, so they're on paper and on everything. They're there to support Mar- Marilyn Manson on the tour, but they're doing right. it for themselves. Mm-hmm. They're doing right. it to get more recognition, to get more people to listen to their music. Cause they know they don't suck. And for that, I am not mad. I'm not mad about it at all. I respect no. them. I think they're good people. No one should be mad at them. If you support the band and like them, no matter who they're opening for, be happy that there's going to be more fans that are going to listen to them and support the band themselves. Yeah. Don, would you agree? Um, I, I go to, a, I go to concerts to see the bands that I like. If there happens to be right. a band that I don't like, that's I, when you I go get a beer them out. I, I go in line at, to get me a drink or that's whenever I take right. my bathroom break or something like that. I never don't go to a concert because I don't like somebody that's one person that's playing at it. And that's, you know, that re- people really don't do that. Right. Do you remember that time that spirit box was going to go out with Ronnie Radke? You remember that time? And then sh- they ended up backing out. I remember that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So that what makes me mad about that is you and your management knew when Ronnie Radke reached out and you said yes, and they put you on the flyer. And then all of a sudden when the, it was announced and then you got backlash from your fan base. Mm-hmm. And, and, and I put the, the, the air quotes guys, right. for those of you guys listen to audio, uh, your fan base. And they're like, Oh, how could you support him? Hey, look, you know what? You could have had a great tour with potentially a decent band that 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 was headlining that potentially drew thousands of people now granted spirit box has come into their own and they've 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 been able to pull now i i will say this and i'm gonna i know i'm gonna get some hate on this and sebastian loves hate so i do not i do not listen to spirit box all that much i don't see what the big pull is with spirit box look courtney's a great vocalist but the music just is uh Blase fair is that is that the French word we're looking for? I, I'm, um, with, you. I'm with you. I'm with you. Wee wee. I don't know if that's the, the but it's not great to me. It, like it doesn't stand out. It doesn't make me want to listen to them more and more and more. Like n- maybe like Sleep Token. I listen to Sleep Token. I'm like, Ooh, this is good. I like this more and more and more. But uh, but it just upset me that they would go off on the tangent and say, oh, we're not doing this because our fans say we shouldn't do this. First of all, those fans will leave you just as quick as someone else. But I understand in this day and age, they want to play by the rules. They want to keep as many fans as possible as they're growing. If there were someone like Foo Fighters or someone big at the top, if they were top dogs, they probably wouldn't care as much. That That's the thing that... Uh, is weird to me is all these bands that are complaining they're the bottom of the barrel bands they're the ones mm-hmm. that are playing before the big name and they are bitching right. about the big name i'm sorry but that big name is pulling in their people themselves and so it is well, getting them a new fan base and so they need to look at that instead of just well the funeral pro portrait is not complaining they're actually defending marilyn manson by saying look we're gonna support him oh they're they're not defending marilyn manson they're defending themselves playing playing with marilyn manson they're not defending marilyn manson and what marilyn manson has done they're defending their band saying they get to play in front of thousands of people now instead of a 200 cap room and that's how it's supposed to be they're moving up and so they should be happy of who they can get with that's bigger name to bring them I think that this, before I play this first song, I think that this backlash that the band's getting is going to draw 
really get more people to listen to them to mm. see what they're about. You know, bad publicity, still good publicity is what they say. Yeah, Sebastian's been trying for years. He's like gone naked in the streets of Oklahoma. It just doesn't work. No one. We still have three people listening to us. Three people. <laughs> the the bass player should not have deleted that. I bet it would have went viral. I mean, it's going viral with that with him already deleting right. it. People are paying attention to it. I don't think you should have deleted it though. No. I get why he did it, but people are now that don't know who the funeral portrait is. They're gonna check him out. Marilyn Manson still has a big fan base. They're yep. gonna check him out. So. Anyways, I'm happy for them, Lee, and the rest of you guys in the funeral portrait. Best of luck yeah. on your tour with Marilyn Manson. Okay, what's our first song tonight? So Andy Black is back with his band Black Veil Brides, and they got a new song called uh, Bleeders, and we're going to pr promote uh, premiere, right? Well, it's not premiere. It's been out for a while, so <laughs> right here on the loud spot. <laughs> Check it out.
know Snoop Dogg made ice cream though. I, I had Dr. Bombay's is what it's called, or Dr. Bombay, Dr. Bombay ice cream. He's a stoner, the ultimate snack for a stoner's for right. ice cream. Is it? Uh, yeah. yeah. I didn't yeah. know that. Yes. Oh well, see, I, don't know. <laughs> I, I, I did not. Well, but, uh, he's you know he's just he's done all kinds of foods, and I, I think his cereal was a I don't know if it was a flop. I don't think I think they were getting sued by like. Fruity Loops or something like that. Yeah, Fruit called. Loops. Fruit, yeah. Fruit, fruit, fruit Loops, yeah. Fruity, yeah. Fruity Loops. Anyways, have, have you heard? I, I don't know if you just buy this in LA. I've never seen Dr. Bombay ice cream, but I don't really, when I go shopping, I don't buy ice cream. I mean, they don't I, have I, it here in Oklahoma. Okay. Yeah. And you don't go shopping. <laughs> yeah. And I also don't go. I guess I do. I went shopping today and I bought a coconut. And I a bought coconut? some mango. I bought some mango, a fresh coconut. Yeah, yeah, you learned, bought stuff for your open. chicken. I, you know, but the coconut's not for the chicken, though. The coconut was not oh. for the chicken. The coconut oh, okay. was for me to eat because I, I like to. If you get a, if you get people don't know this, if you get a wine court or wine uh, opener, bottle opener, and you screw it into one of the little three dots on the top of the coconut, right. it's actually really easy to do. You can just stick a straw in there and drink the right. coconut water fresh. And the coconuts are not, I have to learn how to do it. But you get, grab the coconut and you get like a, a, a mallet. And, crack it inside. And you just hit it a few times, you bang it, and eventually it just cracks down the middle. It's easy. All right. First of all, the coconut, if you take the coconut, the three dots are at the top. You turn it to the side and you you crack it. You crack it horizontal, not vertical. You crack it horizontal to those three dots and it cracks yeah. really quick. Now, the yes, only problem is you're going to waste a lot of uh, coconut water out of there. Now so. that's, why you put the wine, <laughs> that's why you drink it first. I know that. Well, that that's because you guys are alcoholics, and you have the three dots. <laughs> one dot is gonna have a funnel in it to put your rum in it, and the other <laughs> one is gonna have uh, to put your vodka in it, and then and then the last one's your straw. So and then you drink yeah. it. I've been yeah. drinking it fresh, and you know what? Um, I I also bought mangoes and lime, and I made this really good chicken seasoning today. Anyways, okay, back to yeah. Uh, back to put the dogs. lime in the coconut. Well, and that, shake it yeah, on yeah. <laughs> That's, but we didn't that's put what... limes in the coconut. I wonder. I wonder if it, what that would taste like if you put lime juice in the coconut water. It okay, great. Let's talk about the flavors of, of of Snoop Dogg's ice cream, which are. I wonder if he made it up himself, or if there's like a whole marketing team behind him I'm, making it up. I'm sure there's a marketing team that was all high with him when the, this happened, <laughs> and just puts I'm his sure. name on it. All right. So the original eight flavors, or the original seven flavors, and there was an eighth one that came out, and now there's a few more. So you got bonus track brownie. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Uh, cocoa cream cookie dream. <laughs> <Sounds good. laughs> we got this... ro rolling in the dough. That means two mm -hmm. things. I'm sure it's yep. like a cookie dough ice cream. Uh, yep. S'more vibes. Mm -hmm. Syrupy waffle Sundays, but days is D A Z E. Oh, mm -hmm. that's the stoner. Well, that you know the stoners are eating that one. Oh yeah, that's and the then, one they want. Then it, it feels a little racist. I ain't gonna lie. You know, <laughs> waffles and chicken. You know, that's kind of the oh, vibe. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, little, yeah. Little, so little, I ain't gonna uh, a little racist. Thanks, marketing team. Good job. Yeah, I got. They're all white dudes too. <laughs> they're all white dudes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Tropical sherbet swizzle. Is it sherbet or sherbert? Sherbert. But this says sherbet from what I read online. Tropical hmm. sherbet swizzle. I don't know. Hmm. Then they got birthday party came out. And then the newest one, they're coming out with three new flavors this year. One just dropped. It's called strawberry dream cream. That this actually sounds pretty good. It's almost like orange, like orange sickle with vanilla. Oh. And, yeah, but strawberry and vanilla. Ooh, I didn't think about that. That sounds yeah, exactly. good. It sure. And then they have they have two new flavors dropping that I, I I don't think they're announced yet. But anyways, he also makes wine, and the wine's not very good. It so sucks. yeah, it's it's called like nineteen <laughs> nineteen something. Yeah, nineteen crimes or nineteen yeah. crimes. Yeah, something crime, like that. Yeah. It's something crime. I wonder yeah. if he committed uh, nineteen crimes before he got famous, and that's why I called. Probably we know at least a few. Did a lot more. Right. <laughs> he got caught with this. I guess, but he, okay. you know, the greatest thing about Snoop Dogg is he is an entrepreneur. Like it doesn't end at music. He's done right. stuff with Martha Stewart, um, and they have a bunch of lines out, uh, stuff out, whether it's food or whether it's, um, you know, cutlery type stuff. They've done stuff together, and he loves Martha Stewart. That's his, that's his home girl, as he would say. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah, they, uh, he, PR, he's got, PR, PR, yeah. 
I mean, he doesn't stop at just one thing because he understands that he he Snoop Dogg is the icon and everything else after that, whatever he puts his name on, if it can make money, let's try it. Yeah. You know, yeah, like well, Sebastian, like Sebastian waiting to get famous so he can put his name on everything. Oh, I he will. Would have, yeah, I know you will. You yep. you will have energy drinks. You will. And you don't even do energy drinks. You will have uh, like 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 home renovation stuff. Like merry maids or something like that, and you don't even clean your house at the. At the I'll end do of whatever. Day. Yeah, you if you I don't care. Money, That's I it. Care. Now, I mean, but do you blame him? Like, no. there's a uh, there's the coolest thing, and I just saw it on Diego's page. You guys remember Diego? Diego used to be on the show. Yeah. He has a Snoop, Snoop an elf on the shelf, a Snoop Dog elf on oh, the yeah, shelf. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, and I think it's called something like Snoop on a Stoop or something like that. Yeah. Snoop on a Stoop. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, I, I I commend him for it. Didn't except for that, that Snoop. Ex, except for there's one thing, Snoop. I will not give you credit for, and that that Snoop line bullshit that you went through that phase of being reggae, and it sucked like ass. Uh, I will not give you that when ever. he was when he was Snoop lying. I guess for a yes, little bit, it was but, okay. horrible. But he also has Mama Snoop maple syrup and Mama Snoop oatmeal, and it's oh. like his mom. I think like an Aunt Jemima, but it's like it's this his mom. Yeah. Uh, picture in the thing over there so well you you guys remember aunt jemima disappeared from us for because yeah. of the the whole um how do we say this in a nice way the uh the woke uh agendas that has been going on like me i used to buy aunt jemima syrup all the time i don't care if it had her on it i know it was good and mrs yeah. butterworth is another one and they're gone now. i forgot why that I forgot the whole reason why they're getting rid of her, but oh, they got rid of her. But anyways, okay, let's go into some fashion. Hold on, so, yeah, it was racism. It was because they were black on it. But why? But why? Why take her off just because she was a black? She lady? was black. Yeah, that's it. Why you got to take her off the syrup because she was black? That's racist, though, to do that. I know there it's, was a there it, was a they bigger were, meaning they were, behind. No, that. they were claiming racism because. She was a slave, and it was you know yep. it was profiting oh! on their town. Yeah. I yeah. forgot about that. That's right. Uh, uh, yeah. I totally forgot that that they've kind of just using her image, I guess. Yes. They, pull, they pulled off several images off several different things because of that. Yeah. Okay. And there's even, there's even been schools here in Oklahoma that have had to change their names because they pulled the it was racist to have it. And it was a Indian. I mean, Oklahoma is native and yep. it had an Indian in there. And yeah. They had to change yep. the name of the school because of it. But don't, but don't worry, Sebastian. There has been no Puerto Ricans involved in any of this, so you're good. Oh, I'm still safe. Yet, yep. yet. The, well, they haven't created anything, so yeah. <laughs> Sebastian, didn't want to do that. That's right. <laughs> that was good. Okay, yeah. let's let's go. So there was a one time there was a there was a joke says, "Why is there a lot of Mexican jokes, but there's no Puerto Rican jokes?" And I forgot, well, I, I said, like, why? And someone says, because no one just wants to make fun of people who don't do anything and sit on an island all day. Or something like, <laughs> something, something like that. So oh I, forgot, I, forgot, I forgot the joke. But anyways, okay. Um, right. Now let's go, go, right to, go ahead, Don. Lead us in. <laughs> oh, it's my turn now? <laughs> yep. Yeah. But don't worry, this will all be edited anyway. So. so with my time off, I have been pondering because, you know, Sebastian claims that he knows pop or punk rock rock metal and i've been stumping him a lot he ain't been getting anything right here lately mm -hmm. so i think he actually likes uh different music so tonight we're going to test that theory and see if he actually um knows different genres mm. you excited i know i am <laughs> sometimes he knows sometimes he doesn't it's time to stump sebastian All right. First one. You ready? God, I'm going to screw these up, too. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Taylor Swift. No, I gonna, yeah, gonna... Taylor Swift. <laughs> this is going to... Before you go and get old, hurry up before you blow runs cold. I don't. I like that. I don't know who that is. Oh, you know what? I think you know, is that is that Yellow Wolf? No, that was a good guess though. It was. 
What do you guess, Sam? Did, first of all, did you record it from his house or whoever's <laughs> house? Um, that was like the worst recording ever. Yeah. Um, yeah. It, it's definitely uh, okay. So must have been. Yeah, the I don't know. No, I'm just kidding. It's worst not the missing. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I know. That one is actually Shine Down. Oh, oh their, their new song that's special. Their new- that's oh, it is. Song. Okay. Yeah, so we came across that song, and Tiffany and I were like, "Yeah, we're not, it's too slow for this podcast. Um, uh-huh. We're not going to play it. It, it." it was one of those ones that if, if, if we cut to Sebastian, he'll probably be crying. He'll have like a tear in his <laughs> eye. And I was like, "Nope, we can't have that." Well, see, I had to, I had to keep one rock in there, you know, just to give him the benefit of the doubt that he does yeah. know his rock yeah. music. I, I, don't yeah. to, I don't listen to Shine Down that much. I no. Just, no, yeah, no. okay. Well, this hate one Shine. you have interviewed this Uh-oh. next band, so you might want to get it right, or they might be offended. I don't nah, care. we don't give nah. a shit. I don't give two shits. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a cover song? And it's a cover song on top of that. So <laughs> I have no idea who that is. I interviewed the, them. The only thing I can think is saving Jackie. No, it's not saving Jackie. That doesn't sound nothing like saving Jackie. It was uh God. I have no clue who that you is. You actually used to talk about them a lot is whenever non, I first met non, you. Is it non-point? Yes. No. It's- yeah. You said girl, though. You said fe- like no, girl. No, she I did it. No, I, I heard girl. So no. that's why I went to Saving Jackie. No, no, I, I, no I it's was... not. I said you've interviewed this band, and if you, oh. if you don't get it right, they might get offended. Okay. And then whenever I, guess... I told him that he used to talk about them all the time when I first met him, he was like, yeah. Well, I was, think, I was thinking it might have been non-point. But first, I was like, no, because they do that cover song. Is that the, that right. cover song that came out like a few years back? When Doves Cry. It's okay, yeah. yeah, that's an older yeah. that's an older song. Okay, yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, Elias, I will tell you that it's probably not your best cover song. I know, I know you can sing better than that. <laughs> I like so. I like that cover song. Okay, next song, next song. We gotta roll here. Down to the old dear city where the, oh, are green you and the girls are pretty. No, it's not a cover, is it? No, that's not a cover. Is that a cover? No, it's not a cover. I like oh, that. This ain't Texas. Oh, no, oh, there you go. He knows. He knows. I, first of all, stop, stop. He knows this one because he wants. He told me how great this album was, and I said I'm about ready to quit this damn. You know what I called him? A traitor. <laughs> a traitor. <laughs> oh, I'm ahead. ready to ding the bell. Go ahead. Tell was, us. Tell us. That was Beyonce. Yeah. See. Yay! See, you're not. You're not a rock person. You're not a rock person. You got all. You got that. I like everything. I'm not. I don't need to stick to. <laughs> right. I'm my own I, person. I you like know that's too. who I am. So he, he he on a. I I thought it was a drunk night because he's like, you know what's great? A great album is this new Beyonce country album. And I said, get the fuck. You just fucking keep walking. Nope. Keep walking. I messaged that to you when I was at the gym because I listened to the whole thing while I was working. I out. know. The whole album's not that great, but there are some songs out there I do like. And I, you know, hey, I'm allowed to like what I like. I don't give a shit. No, you're, oh. you're right. You're right. And at the, this song obviously was a pretty decent one for her first country album. And we got a couple more bands that are going to be coming out with country albums like oh, Post Malone. He's coming See, out with a, a country album. Well, but I, 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 I will back this one up. I disagree. You... Uh, Okay, there's certain, there's certain people that can cross over. You know, there's certain rock bands that can cross over into country. There's certain, right. you know, it's, Jelly it's Roll. He's on the him. top of the country and the rock and the pop. So, yes, but Beyonce has been pop her whole career. She started out with the three people group. It has always been pop, and she does not... She is not in country. And to me, it just screams fake and that she's trying to get herself back because she fell off. And so she's trying to jump on the country bandwagon because right now it's popular and people are crossing over. She needs to go back where she was. Sorry. I like 
not. That's why Sebastian like I'm not saying basher. I'm just saying that this is just absolutely ridiculous. Uh, you know what? We're not even going to get to the third song tonight because I'm enjoying this conversation. So here's what we're going to do. We're just going to skip the third song. We will play the second song before the band Pigweed comes on. I want to talk about this a little bit more because I think that it's when people force. Here's what I don't like about the beat. There are aspects to it I don't like about Beyonce doing this. First of all, the whole album isn't country. Okay. It's like this song. And everything else kind of R&B still, okay? But it's, it's I, I don't dislike it, but I don't think, I, if you force yourself to do a country album, but you're not a country artist, it's not real. It's not meaningful to you. It's just, you're just doing it to get there a new a- fan base, but it's not, it's not genuine. That's a better no. word. It's not genuine. So Post Malone doing country is not genuine um, and I, maybe he does listen to the country. I don't know. It's it's like it's like oh, 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 stop, stop. yeah, it, you, he you've seen him singing country and metal and all kinds of other stuff before he even got famous. So this guy looks like he should be a metal artist with half the appearances that he's made and all the tattoos, but I, I can't believe you. Well, first of all, we'll wait until post Malone comes out with his music and then we'll make it. We'll make yeah, it. I I will actually. Sorry, there's already I, one song already out there with Morgan Wallen. So, <laughs> all right, let's take a look real quick at, at Halo Scene's new song, uh, "Just Won't Die," right here on the Loud Spot.
All right, we are back. We are here with David and Mo from a band called Pigweed, who hasn't been on the loud spot probably in a couple couple years. I think David was on here. One, uh, episode one hundred and six, actually. Dang! Wow! wow. Like yeah, four hundred something now. Almost. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's right. So David messages me on Facebook, wants to come on the podcast. And I'm like, well, what's going on with Pigweed? So I dive into Pigweed a little bit. And I dive into what David's doing. David actually has a lot of things going on. So I go to, so, okay. So I go to, first thing I do is I go to Pigweed's Facebook page, right? And I'm like, they haven't made a post since 2022 <laughs> on the Facebook yeah. page. Now I did have the privilege of seeing Pigweed live here in Oklahoma City. That was a fantastic concert. You guys had the stage presence was awesome, but I go to David's page and you have a new Facebook page that you are currently working on, but it's not out right now. Is yes. that correct? Okay. Yes. We winded up um, going through a couple of member changes and um, not, not be pointing people out, but. Um, Point them out, dude. You know, Point them out. That's what I'm here for. We want the drama. We want the Facebook drama, right? The people Let's want the go. drama. Um, pretty much, um, we had to um, uh, let Doughboy go. Um, just uh, things weren't clicking, and he decided to do some things that were just totally not cool. Um, so, um. You know, we had some changes and stuff, and um, pretty much winded up getting together and just kind of talking everything out and just realizing, you know, that we're all brothers and, and you know, we, we're all human. We get in arguments, we get into our little fights, we get in our little moods, you know what I mean? But at the very end of it, the, the main core of Pigweed is the members that we have now which are all the original members. I call them the original members because that's when the band really started is when we found the right members. We started thinking, um, off, so, I like it. Hold uh, on, uh, Mo, you can't talk shit because you don't show up to a lot of shows. Like, <laughs> there's a lot of times you're like, I got to work. I got to work. I can't. I got me. Hey, 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 do you guys remember that movie? Uh, God, was that? Remember, uh, uh, God, it's an Arnold, it's an Arnold Schwarzenegger movie. Um, yeah, the, one, the Mars, the Mars planet one. Which one's that one? Oh, it, it's um, Total Recall. Total Recall. Total Recall. <laughs> Remember when that guy says, "Hey, man, I got five kids to feed, yes. man. <laughs> That's me, baby. I got only, I only got three though. Yeah. I'm not like D. Hey, D, how many yeah, kids you got he's, now? He's got like seven. I got five I kids too, Mo. I got five kids. <laughs> <laughs> I want to know um, why Sam, why Sam has a Mexican accent all of a sudden when he's talking to you guys. Where that accent not Well, Sam had the privilege of hanging out with us for a little while, so we threw some week. bean and cheese down his throat, and it, it all right. kicked in. It's, it's <laughs> because we just had Fiesta Week here in San Antonio, so he feels inspired. That's right. And, so, right. and then on top of that, I lived in Yuma, Arizona in a Mexican uh -oh. household. So, andale pues. Andale pues. <laughs> yeah, That's awesome. Yeah. As soon as I tar start but. talking to anyone from San Antonio, it happens immediately. <laughs> Naturally. Naturally. Hey, it's, almost, it's almost like when you're around certain, your, 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 your other friends and you start saying the N-word. No, I, I don't. Uh, that. That's Sebastian. That's Sebastian, right there. Depending <laughs> on how drunk I get and who I'm around. Uh, <laughs> oh man, he, but he puts a hard A, hard A at the end. Of it. <laughs> so what, yeah, hey, David. What what inspires you to? Because you've been kind of out of. It, you haven't done a lot. It seems like as far as music in in a couple of years. Did you recently yeah. just get inspired to kind of come back? Was there something that kind of kept you down? Well, Were you impressed? What was going on? It, what was going on was, you know, I've all me, Mo, the all the guys in the band, we're all musicians at heart. So it never went away. It was just that once we got off the head PE tour, um, you know, I turned around and I looked at the guys that were remaining because at that point we had already um 
I believe Funky was, he had to stay at home and take care of his wife. So it was just Chugs, me, and Fletcher. Hey, she's doing a lot Anyways, better, though. She's doing yeah, awesome. That's great. Um, yeah, we prayed for her a lot, and yeah, she's doing great. So, but um, at that point, you know, I just kind of we got home, and the and the bus was kind of breaking down, and I just kind of looked around, and I just sat there for a minute, and I was like, man, you know, I put us on the grind for seven years, where we were just touring left and right, um, from east coast to west coast, and you could just see the wear and tear on everyone. Yeah. And, uh, hey, except you know, for when me, I, I still, I still yeah, have my eyes glowing no, skin because I, I never went to the tour. <laughs> yeah, Mo never showed up. Uh, Mo never because I never showed up. Yeah. Nope. But you know, it's when I and to be honest with y'all guys, when I got off that tour, I was, you know, very overweight. I was, I weighed like three eighty. You know, all the hey, fast but he lived food. up to the name Big of, D. That's what it was. You know, and. It was that moment where I said, you know what, I, I, I'm a musician, pig, we're never going to go anywhere. And I've made us strong enough to where I believe that our fan base will stay there as long as they stay, you know, somewhat relevant um, in their eyes. Um, because at that time, I knew that me, Chugs, you know, everyone in the band, we needed to have a little time to correct ourselves health wise. Because we're not going to give you 100% if we don't feel 100%. You know what I mean? And after seven years of grinding, doing seven, eight tours a year, um, and then paying for half of those tours when we started because nobody knew who we were, you know, it just put a big uh, wear and tear. And so I had to take a step back and say, okay, Pigweed's strong enough to where I can step back and focus on myself. So I told the guys, I said, let's take a break for like six months and we'll go in the studio. We'll start recording a new album and then we'll be ready to roll again. Well, within those six months at the time we had a drummer, uh, which is still a very good brother of ours. We miss him dearly. And I still talk to him every day. Juju. Uh, he winded up getting in a wreck right before we were coming back from the break. And literally shattered his hip put a hole through his knee i mean just it was terrible we were very surprised that he even survived yeah. um so at that point i was like oh shit what are we gonna do man like well because we didn't want anybody else i mean we have thor and we had juju and to me those are our drummers like whether it's either one i mean they're both brothers of mine and they're both family so it was just kind of like what the fuck are we gonna do so um, I had an, a couple buddies of mine that I'd met on tour, uh, Chris, um, and he played in a band that, and he was extremely good and he winded up offering to come in and fill in for us until we, you know, got things situated. And then at that time, that's when Thor, um, our original drummer found out what was going on and we just started kind of talking and he was ready to come back. Um, so at that time, you know, we all kind of talked and decided that that would probably be the best thing at the moment. You, you not saying tell. we didn't want Juju in the band. Um, it was just the best thing that Pigweed could do at that moment. So, um, at that point, that's when, you know, Funky hit me up, everyone. And, you know, me and Funky kind of had our little offspring a little bit but you know he came back to me and pretty much you know he apologized to me and i apologized to him for whatever and like i said we're brothers i've known funky for over 30 years there's no way in hell that i'm gonna let some bullshit come between me and him whether we're in pigweed or not yeah um so i was just letting time fly by and um i'm just blessed that the lord put it in his heart for him to give me a call and it just winded up that the original members from pigweed at that moment me jugs funky thor fletcher and mo were like we're all ready that's good and uh, it's soon as all the original members said we're ready i got scared because yeah. y'all have no fucking idea what's about to come for you we've been through a lot especially me and I got a lot to fucking say. And this album, it's going to be 
real straight from the heart. So a lot of songs, you're going to be able to feel the message that we're trying to get to you. And then there's going to be other songs that you're going to definitely get the message because I'm pissed. So um, just, you know, I tell people this new album is going to be coming out. I know it's taken a while. Everybody's been hounding me and Mo. I've been hounding Mo. Mo's been hounding me. It's just work schedules. You know, we're trying to make things happen here. So, and they're starting to um, get together. So, but what I'm telling them is the album that's going to be coming out is worth waiting for because it is not like any other person's album out there. You know, most bands, you you get their album and it sounds very similar, similar to the last one or the same or in the same little genre area. This album, me and Mo have had plenty of time to just throw different songs, slower songs, faster songs, different style songs. And we've kind of chosen a variety of music to when you get this album, you're going to be able to go, you know what? I'm in like a PD, uh, a POD, Limp Bizkit kind of mood, you know, and I got Pigweed in here. This track, <laughs> this track kind of has that flow feeling of it, you know, or, or I feel like slamming to some Slipknot, some heavier stuff. That same album that Pigweed just put out, it's got some badass tracks on there as well. And they're going to be able to go to that album and have a little bit of everything. You know, so on that same note, happy, on that same sad. note, though, on that same note, I've been telling D for a long, long time, because I don't know if you guys know, because D used to be on percussion <clears throat> and he used to do some backup vocals. And then at the start of that time it is, man, I, I've always told D he he shines when he screams and when he raps, man, we have a couple of songs that that with that. Oh, my goodness, man. His rapping is 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 awesome. I, you know, I'm an old school, you know, Dr. Dre, Snoop Dogg you know, the type of rap guy and Eminem, when he came out, holy cow, it was awesome. But to me, I'm not saying his lyrics, but just the way he flows is, is, is his, his rapping is just, is pretty awesome. And so it kind of goes back to like, he's talking about that Slipknot, the, the, mm -hmm. the Limp Biscuit style. And I keep telling him, D, you got to do more of that. And, and part of the other conversation, I don't know if D wants to have this conversation, but you know, since I can't go on tour too often that I tell him D that's what we got to change it up. Do more of your, 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 your rapping, man. That that's to me, you guys haven't heard it too much, but man, his rapping is really, really, really awesome. Well, I'm looking forward to the new album. I, I want to say this before we get you guys out of here. We're going to play your lot, your, your, one of your older songs called save me. I do want to say this, that uh, you can tell David that you're, you've been on this journey. I've seen it through your Facebook page. Uh, I, you've lost some weight. You've been working out, going to the gym, uh, either that or doing like you're doing something. Uh, is it like a jujitsu or is it just, is it just, yeah, I do jujitsu. As a matter okay. of fact, I just started at, I just transferred to a different gym so I could get a, I not that. a better professor, but, um, that's the not true. That's, that not true. that's, 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 hey, that's not true. He, he, yeah. He's rolling with the drunks at, at Fritz Hill. That's what <laughs> hey, he's doing. No, no. <laughs> hey, Hey, you told me you, you, you're bulimic. You told me you eat the tacos and spit them back out. <laughs> 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 That's what you told me, dog. Come on. Well, hey, nah, guys. You know, I was a little bit on the sick side, so I had to just kind of take care of myself, man. And right. and um, I stopped drinking. Dude, I was slamming pitchers of tea. I was going through a bag of sugar in like two days myself. Damn. Yeah, well, I, so, I, 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 said, I said good when you said you were sick, but not good that you're getting <laughs> good that you're taking care of yourself and not <laughs> what I meant by that. But, hey, we got we got we yeah. do got to get out of here. So let's play your last song, uh, your song that we're gonna play. It's called Save Me. Uh, real quick, just like within like just 10 seconds here. Do you know when the album's gonna drop yet? We are trying to drop it very close to Halloween. All right, so it's okay. going to be at the end of October area. We're, All right, and I'm pushing it on Mo. Look, he's already smiling. <laughs> but I'm going to push the hell out of it to get out hey, my house. Hey, hold on. Hey, D, I'm already in here. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. I'm ready, Let's dog. You have Come a on, studio look. at your house. It's where, not fair. D, where you at? Where you Mo, at? I'm ready. Mo, no longer Big D, just D. He's you medium D. Exactly. He's medium D now. Medium. Hey, just so y'all know, I went from 382 pounds. I weigh 185 pounds now. Yeah, man. All That's right. Amazing. Congratulations. Right. Man. Thank you. All right, guys. I want Big D back. I want Big D back. <laughs> <laughs> we're, out of, we're, we're out of here. Check out Save Me. And around Halloween, check out new Pigweed. I'm excited. <laughs> to know David, 
Stay, Stay right, right there till after the outro. So, well, fuck, never mind, because we're going to play their song yeah. first. <laughs> guys that's all the time we got peace out rock on and much love i almost Yo guys I almost <laughs> yeah. may 10th may 10th we're gonna be back in our hometown at bonds it's the return of pig we come out support and have a beer with us this is the loud spot outro by nothing short of tragic is this all talk with no action no is this my thoughts with distraction no is this what I bought that's in fashion? Or is this the loud spot with Sebastian? Yes. Does nothing short of tragic have his back again? Yes. Does everything that's good really have to end? Yes. A pimp post has a pimp show, so to get more episodes, make an order, this is over.